cannabis SEO is based on the basics of any effective SEO strategy, but legal constraints pose some hurdles that digital marketers should be informed of and cautious of. And that awareness there is what led us to giving you this piece of content. Uh, if you have questions, SEO questions specifically, please make sure just drop them in the comments and we'll mm -hmm. make sure whatever we have the mastery class. I don't know. Yeah. There may be a third one where we do like a question and answer. I don't know. We'll see. It, it all is based off your participation. Go I, ahead, actually, Victor. I, I actually promise to answer every uh, comment they drop under the video. Boom. There we go. Right there. There you go. Welcome to the show. Welcome to the show. Here to give you knowledge that you didn't know. Put you on some game. Now you got a buzz. You are now listening to Canada, bruh. Yo, what up, what up, what up, what up, what up? What's going on? Oh man, man, it's a it's a good day, man. Feeling feeling blessed, you know. Um yes, we got so much, so much going on right now, but we back. We're back. It's been it's been some time, you know. It has. Uh, it's been some time since we sat down with the Canterbras audience and really like you know, spread that knowledge. But I think of what we do kind of like an artist, a musical artist who has to live life in order to mm. be able to give you as much of their experience as they can right. Right, in, in that artistic form, right? right? So for us, we've been living a lot of life. You know, as you guys know, you know, we had, we're the Canterbras, but then of course we have Harvest Accounting Firm as well that keeps us quite busy trying to make sure that we can be there for all of the cannabis businesses in the industry, as many of them as possible. Um, and I don't know if our job will ever be complete, but Corey, you feeling good? I'm feeling good. Yes, sir, man. I'm, right. I'm, I'm feeling amazing, man. I'm feeling amazing. And in the short little hiatus that we took, yeah. I had a, I had a beautiful baby boy. Let's go. So, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm super excited just, just to say that, uh, uh, I got a, I have a son now, you know, I, I see those TikTok videos and Instagram videos where they said yeah. they, they tried eight times to have a boy or have a girl. And he's like, Jesus, this is <laughs> all, oh, all girls, all, all, all girls. girls. <laughs> like, man, you, you struck out eight times. It's never end process. Uh, <laughs> so. Uh, I'm just very thankful right now. I'm blessed. I got a, a beautiful boy, beautiful girl now. And uh, yeah, yeah. I'm just excited to be back, man. It's excited to talk to our, our audience and, and speak, not only speak to our audience, but speak to this gentleman that you see here in the middle. Oh, yeah, that's right. Yeah, with the CEO of SEO Profi, over 11 years at the helm. SEO Profi, name one of the top SEO companies in Ukraine, okay? Uh, this is not a game. Two years ago, they actually released their first blog, and they have a lot of stuff going on. So without further ado, let us give a warm can of bros welcome to our guest today, CEO of SEO Profi, Victor Karpenko. Hey! Hey! Let's go. Let's go. Wow. Hey, so, thank you for having me. <laughs> hey, thank, thank you, Victor. you. Thank yeah. you, man. We we appreciate you you hopping on and being available just to to grace us not only with your presence but with your knowledge and insight and, and experience and wisdom of everything that you've encountered, you know, over the past 15 plus years, man. We're, we're excited to learn. You know, because even though we're on the we're, we're on the accounting side, right? You know, a lot of, a lot of people we tell like, hey, yeah, we're we're uh, we have an accounting firm that uh, is specifically focused on cannabis, right? I get a call from my uncle like, hey man, uh, what's what's the best Delta Eight gummies that I can get <laughs> in Missouri? <laughs> and, and and I'm like, uh, you know, I have an uh, accounting firm, right? Yeah, yeah, but you know we're Tell me more about these Delta 8 gummies and, and what's the best brand? <laughs> <laughs> so I say that to say that, you know, we're not experts in all of cannabis. You know, we 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 stick to our lane and, and we can speak very well in our lane. But when it comes to SEO 
and especially SEO in the cannabis space, man, we got to bring on another expert, man. Yeah, for sure. This episode of the Cannabras podcast is sponsored by Harvest Accounting Firm. All right. Sir. Yes, sir. You know what Harvest Accounting Firm is, right? That's the <laughs> number one cannabis accounting firm in the state of Texas, though we service all 50 states um, with services that include but are not limited to cannabis tax, accounting, bookkeeping, tax planning, and more. We are with you from C to success with our specialized chart of accounts, compliance-driven service, and guided financial service assistance to help protect your cannabis business from that eventual IRS audit. All right. So take a look down and click on the link in below in the description to book a free, free 15 minute strategy session with people who get it and who are willing to teach it. All right. That's calendly.com slash harvest AF slash strategy session. Go now, get the help. We'll see you there. Um, from your experience in the industry, just tell us a little bit of what you've seen and what you believe SEO marketing can do for a cannabis business? Basically, people, uh, thank you for a question. Uh, basically, people search, you know, like uh, when your uncle, you said, like, what was asking about, like, best <laughs> dispensary <laughs> or uh, stuff. So, like, people search, like, every day they search for everything, you know, like, and, like, usually they, like, if they need dispensary, they search dispensary near me and Google give, like, the result to websites like Leafly, like Weed Maps and other, uh, like, huge website that actually... Um, recommend other dispensers so they can buy so basically like the whole point of seo is to rank for those keywords people actually search and there are a lot of tools like href semrush search matrix and other where you can like type a keyword and see how many people search per month uh what's the trend for this keyword and stuff like this so like for example like dispensary like like i don't know like uh, los angeles can be like like madman can show up there or, or other brands mm -hmm. so when people search dispensary la you you get i don't know like exactly how many searches per month and like uh, let's just say five percent out of all the people who search can buy like this delta 8 gummies or cbd stuff or mm -hmm. whatever so uh all seo based to rank this website, like, you know, to, to make Google uh, like this website, uh, to make this website trusted and just appear in Google search. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So one thing that, you know, we ran into, this is actually, so we, we spoke at a Delta 8 Expo out in uh, Dallas. Uh, shout out to Mace Media and the CBD Expo. Mm -hmm. And we were on, and we were on a panel and one question that was asked about SEO, it says, they said that if everybody is quote unquote utilizing SEO, right? Search engine, search engine optimization, then how can you compete? How can you make yourself stand hmm. out is if everybody else is, is using it? I mean, it's like in everything, like if you go to lawyer's niche, how another lawyer becomes bigger, bigger lawyer. <laughs> right, mm -hmm. right. It's a lot of uh, keywords people search. It doesn't mean you need to rank for, like for the most like uh, keywords that have the, the biggest search volume. You can mm -hmm. find like, I don't know, people search for strains. People search for like different types of uh, stuff. So you, you can like, uh, we usually like, we do everything through a data-driven approach. It's like our DNA in our company. So when someone asks me what to do, I say, I don't know, like, let's look, let's look what others did. So we basically analyze uh, what, what type of pages they have, uh, what's the keyword count, what's the keyword density on these pages, what's the backlinks uh, that refer to these pages. So basically it's other website that link into this page or to this website and uh, lots of other things we look at and then we can kind of calculate and to answer your question yeah big marketplaces will um, benefit from this more because they understand the real value of seo just look at mm -hmm. 
they are like I don't know, do they worth billion already or maybe more? But like, if they want to keep the revenue stream more, they will invest more and more, right? Mm -hmm. Like so, True. like for uh, smaller like dispensaries or website that sell seeds or whatever, it will be harder and harder to enter the market, and but it doesn't mean you need to go this the same way like it doesn't mean you you, mm -hmm. you need to start from all this super competitive competitive keywords you, you you can start from less competitive get result and then move to more competitive keywords yeah mm. so mm. The market actually is way bigger than people think it's not like 10 10 position for del like uh dispensary near me or delta 8 gummies it's mm -hmm. like, thousands of keyword uh, different keywords that you can rank for right because people just really just want to compete you know that's mm -hmm. the ultimate thing i know even with with us when we, we speak internally about our business it's not that we have to be the number one in the world you know it's just the yeah. fact that we want to compete you know we want to be respectable when people say that name it's ranked somewhat high it's not at the bottom you know that there's quality to what you're trying to give your clients or your customers, right? So yeah. that's a big thing. Yo, Corey, I'm glad that you mentioned the uh, CBD Expo. As they should know, we are the official media partners of the Delta 8 in Expo in partnership with the CBD Expo Tour. Yep, that's right. For the rest of 2022, you can see us at every stop. The next stop to be exact is St. Paul, Minnesota. August 18th through the 19th, Canterbury is going to be there, dripping flavor, drip doing what we do. You know what I mean? So uh, we got a little something for you. Okay, so check this out. We're gonna do something special for Minnesota. More specifically, the St. Paul cannabis community. We're giving out 15 free Canabras VIP guest passes to the Delta 8 Expo in partnership with the CBD Expo Tour. This is exclusive to the St. Paul, Minnesota event. This Canabras VIP guest pass will include free admission to the Expo on August 18th and 19th, a free goodie bag filled with next level high quality products from some of the best brands in the industry. One-on-one -on -one camera time with the Canter Bros that will be featured in or alongside the show content on various platforms and free admission to the after party, Hey! <laughs> in addition to that, there's also the free game you'll receive through these amazing panels. Man, I'm talking industry expert insight on the future of Delta 8, making hemp infused food and beverages and psychedelics. To enter to win the free Canterbras VIP guest pass, all you have to do is follow the Canterbras on IG, comment St. Paul VIP under this post on our page, follow the CBD Expo Tour on IG, and bring that good energy to the event. Be ready to get lit. In St. Paul, we gonna have a ball. <laughs> you have until August 11th to get in on this. The drawing will happen then, and winners will be announced on August 12th with details given to all VIP guests at that time. See y'all in St. Paul. Canabras out. Yep. So make sure that y'all meet us there, right? St. Paul, Minnesota, the Intercontinental at Riverfront. Yep. We will be there. Show up, show out, get your tickets. Click on the link in the description below and we'll see you there. The industry is bigger than what people perceive, mm -hmm. right? And and if everybody's beautiful, right, then that means everybody's average, right? Yeah. I mean, you know, yeah. But, yeah. I mean, we've had people reach out to us to say, hey, look, you know, want to strike a deal with you all because I want you all to help me find the clientele and so on and so forth, right? And and it just shows, like, the how impactful marketing is, how impactful specifically SEO is, and the success of a business. One thing that is commonly asked is, you know, if I'm a brand new business, you know, that 
hasn't necessarily secured a great a location yet you know what we do is you know maybe we have a facility where we can work on the product and everything like that but we don't necessarily have the retail environment to be able to get this to the people so how can i with seo marketing how can i get my customers to find me if i don't have a physical location i mean as long as you have delivery like um <laughs> It does like it, it, it doesn't mean you need to be on Google Maps. Like you, you can be just in Google, you know. Like because uh, uh, a lot of like users, people search for delivery, like delivery plus state. So you 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 just can um, uh, target the the state or the city you you want to operate, uh, and you research before wh where it's like makes sense for you to deliver this stuff. Or the second thing is just to partner with someone. <laughs> like, I mean, if, if you want to sell stuff uh, and just partner with someone who does really good delivery and you don't even need to do marketing, you know, mm. <laughs> you, mm. you just cooperate and win-win. Uh, like, like, it's like win-win for everyone. Like, right, right. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So, you know, I know you mentioned Google Maps and Google. Let's say um, I'm thinking creatively, right? Let's say I'm, I'm looking to start a dispensary or whatnot. And I'm like, well, everybody's using Google. Would it benefit me to use other search engine platforms or like, uh, I don't know, Bing, Yahoo? Like, would it, would it benefit me more or competitively to try different areas outside of Google? Uh, yes and no. In most cases, like Bing maybe have like little percent but it's uh it's maybe like 10 15 to 20 percent like they say but you need to look up and see how many searches for like your dispensaries you have mm -hmm. in the state or overall in, in, and does it make sense for sure youtube you can use you know like because youtube like people search and uh like you can rank YouTube videos uh, faster than any website because YouTube is a, a Google uh, a, a property. Right, <laughs> like, right, 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 right. So they show their services higher than other <laughs> websites uh, ju just to keep users in their like network. So like if you you can rank in YouTube for uh, keywords and with YouTube video in Google, you know, mm -hmm. so it also makes sense. Yeah. So, uh, but um, like there are a lot of like because um uh, like cannabis illegal like um in a country overall mm -hmm. right mm -hmm. but some mm -hmm. states are only legal that, that's why and facebook and all other like mm -hmm. social platforms they operate only like on a country level right so right, they, right. they can give you like to do ads but you can do ads for cbd if you have like some license and whatever like you 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 can go through but with cannabis it's pretty hard so that's why seo like in google actually makes sense because if you rank number one you rank number one you don't have four ads before you're number one that people mm -hmm. you see it like so you get more and more traffic yeah right. so uh, so from my experience like it's mostly google youtube and if you take some paid channels it's like a lot of like uh, social weed network but it's not actually clients it's the people who actually uh, do be business like uh, right mm -hmm. right right mm -hmm. that's true HP stuff yeah so. yeah can seo strategies be used successfully without a website let's say you you are just um you're operating on various platforms instead um so the question is like if i if i don't necessarily have this great website or a website really at all would i be able to utilize seo uh marketing strategies i guess no like you need to promote something <laughs> right I mean, uh, it's like i don't know shopify you create your own store in shopify and sell through this platform but you still need seo you still need to make like you you you'll make it on your own domain or subdomain i don't know how it works like but like in most cases it's your domain name so yeah you need to have a website and like you can promote facebook group or instagram page or other things i mean you can but it 
I mean, it's not your property. Like your domain is right. Your right. Mm. Yeah. Mm. That's a great right. point. That's a great Dang, point. That, no, that no, that's true because we've had that question our, ourselves. You know, mm -hmm. when it comes to websites and you're trying to gain more traction, you're trying to become a bigger name. And I think, do you think that's just because people are like focusing too much on on the brand, like building a brand, and not necessarily like, you know, so is they're market. getting right how to market it they're, they're mm -hmm. trying to get the notoriety so that their faces are known or the products may be known but there's no home for it i guess right it's, mm -hmm. was that how you would think of it like living homeless basically <laughs> i wouldn't say that i mean you can say uh, you can sell through weed maps like without having a website they okay. offer you, uh, you this stuff but like you can order there what i'm thinking right now actually uber can like kill <laughs> any marketplace just by doing like uber weed you yeah. know you, you just mm -hmm. order been waiting for it <laughs> <laughs> i've been waiting for it <laughs> <laughs> yeah. i'm like why is there no why you know you got uber eats i was wondering why there hasn't been but i think that maybe federal legalization might change that yeah <laughs> yeah uber oh. weeds <laughs> yeah uber, <laughs> uber yeah. <laughs> <laughs> when harvest accounting firm you know uh starts with a brand new client we always ask ourselves you know well what work is there to be done immediately like when we come in you know if this is not a startup company the first thing we are going to consider is what cleanup right like we're thinking about like what cleanup is there um what cleanup is there so that we can get to the foundational level just just a very basic basically get back to zero how can we get back to zero and then implement these different strategies that will help you with your finances is there some kind of cleanup that's like associated to what you guys do uh yeah in uh, in most cases like it depends if the client is new or if the website is old or they have like network of websites like the people who come to us so uh and uh, but usually I, I do understand what are you what are you trying to say how to show them like grow pretty fast you know like mm -hmm. yeah. SEO is a bit tricky like if the website is old it's possible pretty quick like you know you can fix like some technical issues like you can like optimize like meta tags and like a, a bit of text and just do inner linking properly and you can rank uh, like if you have already this trust but if the website is new you you gotta be patient because <laughs> it, it takes time you know like mm -hmm. but okay. in most cases but sometimes it's also like when you say cleanup depends from the uh, task but sometimes we can go to GoDaddy auction or to other auction places and buy a domain name that is 20 years old already with the backlinks and mm. like we buy it like i don't know for 1k for 2k but it saves us one year of waiting mm. you know wow for the website yeah so sometimes it works you know what jerome and i were talking about the auctions uh the domain auctions because we were looking at buying a, a specific domain name <laughs> yep and we had the auction for it we we're like wait a minute what and <laughs> you know the, the price that they were asking for was not what our pocketbook was pocketbook. <laughs> well, I yeah. was, was looking for our wallet was looking for. Right. Right. Cause I mean, you really think about that. Like that's just, we don't, we're not really familiar with it. Yeah. So yeah. we go, okay, well, I'm going to buy a domain $12. Okay. Yeah. That's fine. Right. And then you find out that it's taken and then that's when the option, you know, or, or you get offered, Hey, you can buy it for this amount. You know, hey, Victor I mean, probably owns it. <laughs> no, no. <laughs> no, he said, I'll send it back to you. <laughs> I, 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 will pre I would present it to you guys for free, but I don't like it all up, unfortunately. But we will have to ask off camera. <laughs> yeah. And, yeah. And you know, you brought up a good point with um, when it's federally legal that Uber have more access. Uh, that takes me to compliance. So let's say for on the SEO side, how, how important is uh, federal and state compliance with the clients that you work with or, or for upcoming businesses? Yeah, it's super important because, like, for example, if you sell in California, you can't sell to people in Florida and right. 
because you have right. a license, right? Mm -hmm. So uh, it's usually go through KYC, like know your client thing, you know, like when um, you can actually see who are those people and like uh, the, it's two ways how to filter them. First one is you use a GOIP. So the people from California only will see the stuff like, okay. and that's all to any other. You can say, sorry, we don't operate in this area. You just like subscribe to our email and we'll mm -hmm. let you know when we'll open in Florida, for example. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, and it, it's important, but it's important for our client. And we also can't do stuff like, for example, if client comes to us and says like I want to do like dispensary in Atlanta and they don't have yet you know like this like legal stuff just to operate uh, like dispensaries and we, we can't promote because we also going to be <laughs> in the same situation if they audit them you know so like mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Also, so so we know uh, we we also like not like background check, but we check like what's uh, the market where they operate. Can they actually do that? And and then we uh, like can offer our services because it's also for our safety. Yeah. Right. Right. And I guess that's kind of the that's where the the line is drawn when you realize you know maybe I sh I should do organic SEO you know for you know some of those companies versus uh, local SEO. Like I was trying to find a little bit more like understanding about organic SEO versus local SEO, other than just the geographic, you know, okay. nature of it. Yeah. I mean, yeah, uh, but like, it's still like, for example, uh, if you rank for a dispensary near me all, all over US, right? Mm -hmm. If you don't have like a page, but you, you can serve, if you have only the license in California, you can't serve the clients mm -hmm. that are in different parts. You see, right. so it doesn't make actually that much sense. I mean, you'll yeah, get right. more traffic, but you won't make more money or you won't get more revenue. Like if, right. you're, legit, if you're thinking about all this legit stuff, like, uh, so, so yeah, it, it, it make, it makes sense. Like, for example, uh, to, uh, promote uh, search terms in a blog in articles like is cannabis legal what kind of strain should i use for this and like you mm -hmm. know people this one they can rank anywhere you know like in, in google like in us but the like how i call them money keywords that actually bring you like the orders and clients uh, they are more local to mm. yeah okay okay so do you run into any issues with like uh, the CBD side, the hemp side uh, when it comes to um, SEO? And the reason why I ask, so we've spoken with a few people. We spoke uh, with uh, it Kim Kohler with Privy Peach. Yeah. And, and so she has like a line of like, uh, it's more like, I guess, sexual wellness slash CBD um slash um uh, mushrooms and all everything that she does is is legal right but when it comes to you know she was telling us that she had a, a huge following like on on instagram and but because you know cbd and hemp um uh, is still you know in that gray area like technically it's federally legal but you know, because cannabis as a whole isn't legal, that a lot of um, uh, platforms won't allow it. So do you run into any issues when it comes to the CBD hemp side or, or how can you avoid those issues as a business owner? As a business owner, I would probably separate websites. I would I would do for CBD one, <laughs> for <laughs> other uh, thing and other one. So okay. no issues. <laughs> so okay. Like, okay. Even like when you use paid ads for CBD, because you actually allowed to use in most uh, cases like mm -hmm. uh, like paid ads, like Google ads and stuff. Um, if they find hemp and uh, other stuff on your website, they say like you need to remove it or you can't use our network. You know, like mm -hmm. so, mm -hmm. so. That's why it's probably better to separate it. You know. Yeah. Yeah, and, and that makes sense to just simply separate it. Now, there's also the other issue, you know, uh, you can put beautiful packaging and everything on it, but is it true 
that, and this is some stuff we just have to debunk a little bit, but is it true that there's some importance to the actual name? Like, for instance, we're the Canabras. <laughs> we're the Canabras. If we were to do the Canabras treats or, you know, or something <laughs> like that, right? Um, I think it would kind of be a giveaway that is, is probably something related to cannabis, right? And, and if, and, uh, and maybe a business owner will be weary of promoting in that way. Does the name of the business itself really matter or is it just how you market it, where you put it? I mean, in, term of, in terms of SEO, it does make sense uh, if you have keywords in your brand, you know, like keyword that associate with like the niche, like mm -hmm. equals uh, for Google exact match domains like EMD, you know, like, for example, you can take dispensary, Atlanta dispensary near me, like, for example, or Los mm -hmm. Angeles dispensary near me dot com. Mm -hmm. uh, it, it works better than <laughs> <Nice. laughs> uh, but uh, Google also like looks at this domain names like um, not in, in the best way you can also get hurt like by using like uh, pretty long EMD uh, domain names but mm -hmm. like it just means that because you have like a keyword in your brand name you will spend less on building trust for the domain it will go higher faster you know, but okay. in terms of like overall, uh, like it doesn't like it's the same. It's the okay. same, but you just uh, do it longer period of time to get the same result. Ah, mm. uh, so you're okay. really working. You're working a, a little bit harder than you need to. And I know you know something about domains. I was doing my little bit of research and know that uh, a little over 15 years ago, you started out by selling domains, right? Yeah. yeah. Like, yeah. what, what was that like? And how did you like transition from s selling domains into like a full, like full marketing agencies and everything? How did you tr make that transition? I was just like, it was free, you know, so I was registered. <laughs> <laughs> Hundreds of them. And when people were buying it, you know, like not for 10 bucks, like for a couple grand each, you know, mm. so um, mm. it was pretty good thing to do but wow. our transition I, I just wanted to sell more like everyone wants right like mm -hmm. you know, <laughs> but it doesn't matter what do you do you want to sell more right it's never enough so i was i, I made a website promoted for i i ranked them for like uh, by domain names and like keywords and stuff like this and started to get more clients and that that's when i realized wow um i should do this you know, okay. Yeah. That's that's like uh domainception right there. Like <laughs> you have a domain name that has a list of domain names so yeah. that you <laughs> <laughs> No, actually now I understand my expertise actually cuz uh like I'm I'm not trying to affiliate uh like other company but we uh, like have other companies that do our own projects like in various niches not only in Canada. Right, so right. we create our own like review website and rank them like number one for this keyword term and just make money out of the revenue share like affiliate marketers okay mm -hmm. so uh, in this case a lot of domain makes make sense because it's less risky you, like for example you can make 1000 domain name 1000 websites like mm -hmm. and each website will be dedicated just to one small sub niche mm -hmm. it will be overall no one will even see you but uh, like if you count all the domain names we, like you are pretty big that's a hustle right there man. that's a real hustle that's real hustling right there I mean, man. for example <laughs> I, I can give you like for example you have accounting firm right uh, right you want, you want a clients everywhere from like i don't know let's say in the beginning everywhere from texas right okay. so what about if we will rank in every major city in texas like and every city will mm. have different domain name uh, but, it's, <laughs> but it's still you right right <laughs> You know, like <laughs> that's uh, how we have MJ SEO agency like ranks number one for the keyword like uh, cannabis SEO agency and stuff like this. But we we actually, but it's part of the group of the companies and SEO profi. We have dedicated team mm. that does only like cannabis SEO stuff. Like uh, like we have team leads, project managers, and stuff. But uh, it's part of SEO profi. You see, so like that's how you can go in the niche like 
get better mm -hmm. in the niche than go try to do everything overall at the same time you see like right but like in terms of seo actually what what good was this do domain names the age you know like the the age for google actually matters you know like okay. when you start uh, like with the brand new domain you just register you need like half a year at least so Mm. Uh, Google sees that you're you're actually legit. You are doing like building uh, uh, like a brand, brand uh, building trust and stuff, and then it, it starts to rank you. Uh, with the old domains, Whoa. you do it way faster. You know that's the only w why. You know, but sometimes you can find super cool brandable domain name, and it's crazy. Uh, I, I can show you the software that can like you can see like sometimes like. Um, like you can see that the domain name from auction goes for 100k even mm. more just one domain name you know like for <laughs> yeah but if you think in terms of uh money like imagine if you can rank for like i don't know nationally for accounting firm in like one month just by uh, redirecting this domain or just building uh, on this domain your website and it works right. you know so how much money will you make <laughs> after you know right. Mm -hmm. right. so, uh, people who actually know like what to do with these domain names they it is a big and uh, overwhelmed market like right now it's pretty everything is way more expensive than it was like 10 years ago five years ago you know like so yeah so I got a, I got a two part question for you. Sure. So the, the first question uh, was the question that I forgot previously. <laughs> <laughs> um, so let's say as a business, we open up, let's say, uh, let's say we're a CBD uh, store, right? And we're like, okay, so we're going to buy the, a domain in Dallas, Houston, Fort Worth, San Antonio, Lubbock. And, and where else, right? All these different cities in Texas. Okay, okay. so the the SEO optimization, or the, I guess the search engine op optimization for those, it might is the company going to have to um, pay to have those optimized for each one? And okay, so it's not it's not here's ten of them. Can we just somehow use one domain and then? link all those to this this domain and then boost this one domain to get traffic to these other 10. uh no uh it, it, it will be like separate one okay uh, yeah but uh, probably because of the emd you will spend way way less uh, for links or for content and stuff and will rank faster and it's also diversity if like for example, one domain can be hit or something like with this Google algorithm changes, uh, all uh, other nine will be okay, you know, but you are, uh, you are guys doing everything like good because Google is more about building brand. Like, you mm -hmm. know, if you, if you have like stable known brand, like uh, that people hear from, like you have, have a good product and like you just expand it, it's easier to rank overall it's mm -hmm. it has more risks like for example if something happens in terms of seo on main domain like you gotta figure out how to um, fix issues fast you know like but with the a lot of domain strategy it's just different strategy that's all like you after okay. you get like super big you can like use both you know, like okay. oh, you can okay. invest in this and this and get more revenue out of this. Yeah. Hmm. And then the second question was, so as an accounting firm, uh, with our accounting firm, I should say, uh, when we speak to many startups or we, we speak to many different businesses and, uh, you know, we tell them first, you know, they need to have an extra strategy, you know, know where they're going to go first, what they want to accomplish before they start their business, right? See the end first. Uh, but then on top of that, it's, we were looking at their revenue and, you know, they, they tell us on the accounting side that whether they're like, they may not be able to afford our services because of the cost, right? Yeah, uh, they may consider it a luxury service. Right. Um, uh, <laughs> and then on, on same thing on the, I'm assuming that you would get that as well. It was like, it's, it's too expensive, 
um, to afford the marketing for my business, right? So my question to you would be, uh, on the SEO side, what would you recommend that a company, a startup set aside for, because I know you said six months, uh, at least having six months uh, on attraction on Google, that, that'll really help your business uh, propel to the next level. So how much should a startup uh, have set aside to get to that level? Um, I would do that from the beginning, you know, just like by, uh, you, you, like you usually can't go somewhere like without knowing what you can get like in the end of the day, right? So like mm -hmm. when, when we start like, I don't know, like niche, or niche website we research first then we calculate is it worth it when we're gonna go break through you know like for example if i sometimes in some niches it take one and a half two years just to uh, like return just mm -hmm. to go to operational zero and then it grows uh, pretty good okay. uh, so it depends like uh, i mean like what are you what are you are saying like uh, like for example we as a business calculated that we can't take clients through certain, like some amount of money because it's not proper, like it doesn't mm -hmm. make sense to us just even to do some work because we know right. uh, how much uh, our cost internally, how much we sell right. to the client, uh, what's our overhead, like uh, mm -hmm. what, what's our cost to everything. Like, so, and so we just don't, uh, don't take clients uh, like this, but we can give recommendation like what they can do uh, on their own just to get to the certain revenue. Right. But, but it's like startup, you know, like when you, it's it, 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 just imagine if pay-per-click uh, is, you can use it like for your dispensary or whatever. And you, you, you go to Google and say, when I'm gonna go break through. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it depends from you, from so many things, from your product, from people, from the process, how it's optimized, how you see like where you can like so. So in our case, we we are like stable company with like HR process, with legal, with finance, with uh, like uh, tools that we use internally, with team leads, with values and stuff. So that's why we understand like. <laughs> as I told you before, like I see in cannabis niche, a lot of people that like start business and they don't know how to run basic processes, you know? Right. So I would, uh, on their, on their place, I would just realized <laughs> they, they need to level up here, here and here and just do it, you know? Mm. Like, <laughs> so then you actually can understand how much I can invest in SEO or in different like type of marketing and like, um, and just expect something. And like in the beginning, we go from clear KPIs. Okay. Uh, like uh, if we rank how much traffic we get, what's the average conversion rate, uh, how much it will be in the money, uh, what's the margin here, like pure profit, uh, like, when you cut all the overheads and all the stuff. So, and then you can actually see, is it, does it actually make sense? You know, like, so, yeah. Yeah. And, and that I'm, I think it's really dope. You mentioned that, uh, you know, somebody, let, let's say they're just not ready, right? They, they can't afford us to, in, in, <laughs> if I'm trying to be quick about it. Right. They, they can't afford us, but, the fact that you mentioned that you guys still say, hey, we're going to suggest some things that you can do that'll yeah. that'll help you with your revenue so that you can't afford us eventually. You, know? <laughs> <laughs> you may not be able to do that. I know that that may not be your intention. I'm kind of just joking, but you know, like um, so that they can raise their revenue up. I think that's like admirable that you guys actually do that because, you know, let's be honest, you know, a lot of ancillary businesses do not, you know, they're not looking to give you help on doing it by yourself. Mm -hmm. You know, um, they just want you to stay in house and they try to work out the deal. But the fact that you kind of speak to knowing your worth, I know how much overhead we have. I know, you know, that it needs to be, this is my bottom line here and we have to make that. So there's no negotiating with that. 
we're a marketing agency. We'll figure out how, how to get more clients in. Um, but yeah, I think that's just, that's really cool that you guys do look to actually still educate in some way mm -hmm. to the people. Is that what you guys are doing with your SEO blog that you guys started a few years ago? Is it, is it more about the education piece or? We actually like, uh, it was, uh, as I like, um, I guess I mentioned in the beginning, like well, when the war in Ukraine started, I started to do like everything like in English more. So I started newsletter and it, mm. it's like maybe like three or four months. It's data driven SEO.com. Okay. So there like every week, some inside how you can implement on your own, like just some like uh, tricks and tips and also <laughs> Uh, I give free consulting once per month to someone uh, from the, from the readers, you know, like mm. I just do a random org people who <laughs> write their emails and stuff. Yeah. Uh, but uh, before we used to have like number one blog about SEO in Russian and Ukrainian speaking, like uh, we, we had like four and a half, five thousand people per day vi visiting our website, you know, like uh, it was pretty cool. But <laughs> I guess like three or four years ago, we just give up. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> on this stuff, yeah. So, uh, yeah, but uh, you know, our plans is just to keep continue, uh, like do everything in English, so like mm -hmm. English speaking audience will understand and can implement. And the the, the main point is like where you you know like just to give something valuable that you can. Mm -hmm. like, just right. you, by using this information, first of all, you can be better, not me, you know, like I share right, it. With, right. with, yeah. On the longevity of uh, SEO. So let's say, let's say we, again, the six months, right? We go four months, you know, let's say, uh, again, another CBD shop, we go four months of doing our SEO and then we stop. We say, hey, you know what? Uh, things are looking up for us. Let's just take a pause and then let's just maneuver <laughs> off the organic traffic, right? Yeah. How, what is the impact of that, uh, of starting and stopping? Um, and is that a good idea? It's never end process. Like SEO is like, imagine like in real life, um, let's say like, I, I, I like to explain in data driven way, let's say like uh, like like for example i want to uh, lose weight right so uh, average approach is like i think i will eat less you know drink less and probably uh, i will lose weight right but <laughs> right uh, in data driven approach you go to and do uh, uh, go and do labs and then you go to a dietologist and consult and maybe she or he uh, will uh, refer you to, I don't know, do more labs and just to see what's going on with your body. Then they prescribe you a plan, right? Like what okay. to do, right. what to eat, what not to eat, uh, when to eat. And you uh, stick to this plan. And in this case, in like you for sure will lose weight, right? Right, so right. This is the same with SEO. When you research in the beginning and see what you need to do according to the competitors, according to the resources you need. Like when I say resources, is like links, content. And um, if you stop, like in my case, if you stop, you probably will come back to the same level, right? Right, mm, yeah. 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 And, or another example, like when people starting to refer you, refer you, and then everyone is just quiet. And Google is like, hmm, what's mm. going on with these guys? You know, like mm -hmm. they were trusted, people were uh, mentioning them, and now everything stopped. You know, like it, mm -hmm. it's suspicious. So probably like you'll drop in rankings after mm -hmm. like, in, in some time, maybe one month, maybe three months, maybe more, but like you, you will have this rankings for some period of time, but if you don't have dynamics and your, all your competitors use it and you are still not on the level of Amazon, for example, right? Uh, Amazon also have SEOs, you know, like they have huge team of people mm -hmm. who are like working for different, like uh, with different products. So talk, talk to them because <laughs> people, people think, you know, the big 
people think that the big dogs don't use some of right. these strategies right. in order to push business. Like they got to stay rich, right? They got to yeah. stay rich. <laughs> it's all about it's all it's so like uh, a lot of people do this. You just need to feel it, you know. Like when you build something and then you just give up on it, and, and then you need to start almost all over just to recover it, you know. Like, yeah. so, so I, I wouldn't recommend to do that, you know, like, because like what's, uh, what, I mean, it's different situations in, in life, something can happen, you know, like, but uh, like, you just need to understand that you, you need to get these links, you like, you mm -hmm. need to update your content, you need to like, uh, optimize the pages and work overall with your brand. Like, yeah. for example, if you do just, let's say if you do video channel, like it gets super popular mm -hmm. and then you stop what happens uh, less, less views uh less everything really yeah. everything stops <laughs> yeah so the same as an seo oh man and I, the i love your analogy about like dieting and, yeah. and nutrition right yeah. because that's that's what it is just how people don't give a damn about some of their health and they're like man i'll just go to mcdonald's every day it, it, it doesn't really matter. You know, like, yeah, it doesn't matter until, you know, your doctor tells you, you you're probably going to die from eating that many fries. Like you, you have to stop, you know, <laughs> and then you work on it. Yeah. But the human, the human mind is so complex because, uh, it, it, it always continuously looks for shortcuts. Like we're yeah, always looking yeah, for yeah. another way, uh, more convenient. I want it to be more convenient to me in this way or that way. Most mm -hmm. often than not, the most convenient thing it comes down to money, you know, is, you know, uh, this one doesn't cost that much. I can go to McDonald's and get a full meal for all of my family, less than 20 bucks, yeah. <laughs> you know? And then if I go to Del Frisco's or something, right. I know that I'm coming out hundreds of dollars, hundreds of dollars, but it's a, it's, you know, in most people's opinion, it's a better meal. You know, um, you're also getting things that's not maybe as processed or, you know, other mm -hmm. issues mm -hmm. like that. I don't want to throw McDonald's under who knows them. So, but, but, you know, <laughs> um, you know, McDonald's, is, that's, a, that's a bit scary, a bit scary when I don't want to throw McDonald's under. But, yeah, you know, people immediately go to this idea of like, oh, well, price, you know, because of price, it dictates my decisions. But when you think long term, you know, what's better to have to live 20 years more <laughs> or just to get diabetes or like be over like <laughs> right, wait, right, and years and then you need to spend way more money on uh, on recovery, you know, on mm -hmm. nurses. <laughs> on <Yep. doctors. laughs> or, so if you think long term is the same in SEO, like, for example, Leafly, uh, Leafly.com, they think about long term. Uh, all other think about that's why they go like and they have like i don't know like 10 million organic traffic per month and they keep growing because you know it's just understanding what you need what you need to do right uh be consistent in this and just do it do it do it it's better than just do it just one shot just get something and then you need to look for another one which, yeah yeah right. but victor what what if i'm um, just i just habitually give up and start again and give up and start again. Like people do, you know, we're talking mm -hmm. about dieting Working and nutrition. Yep. People, you, could we do it? We is to be honest, you know, I would, I would be so, you know, I'll be busting out this shirt if I could just, <laughs> you know, add on to the consistency that I learned 12, 15, 20 years ago. You know what I mean? Like I, I yeah. learned, you know, the basics of working out and, you know, being an athlete earlier, earlier and, and just trying to keep up now, you know, you're no longer doing it competitively or anything, you know, like you mentioned, you know, offline, I just had, had to take a break real quick. Offline, man, Victor was giving us them stats. Victor told us he he was going for 50 points a game. Every, Triple double. Every, yep, 10 rebounds, 12 assists, averaging for a year straight. <laughs> no, I'm just I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. But yeah, yeah no, for real, Victor, right? Right, Victor, you used to, you know, really hoop. You know, you still hoop, right? Did you try to get some? Uh, yeah, games? yeah. I, I was just playing yesterday, like yeah. here locally. Yeah. Like what? Well, like, two on twos, four on fours. No, no, five on five. Like, five, oh, okay. <laughs> oh, yeah. Play, He's like, play a full court or you have court? Uh, full court, five on five. Okay, so you're still in pretty good shape, man. Right. <laughs> Look, yeah. 
Look, I was telling my uh, my homies the other day. I was like, you know, you out of shape when you you out of breath chasing chasing your kid around the park. <laughs> 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 so so I, I just and <laughs> those are those are short spurts. Yeah. So you know, just imagine in full court, man. Like, hey, shout out to you for that, man. Because them yeah. them knees, the, the check knee light comes on, and it's a wrap. <laughs> and right, and to to that point, those short spurts and then starting over again, and then stopping and then starting over again. Mm-hmm. You do it when you sprint, like you mentioned, mm-hmm. but you we, we do it with our health. And then I know there's businesses that do this with SEO marketing. Is it long? Does it do long term damage for a company to start and stop multiple times? De- depends how long you stop for. You know, like, okay. uh, or sometimes it's like not a, everyone is not perfect. Some SEO agencies can be good. Some SEO, SEO specialists can be good. Some not really, you know. Yeah, I was going to get to that. Yep. <laughs> and it's good to change just to perform better, you know, like, but overall, like you just need to understand like the main thing, what you need to do and just like, it, it, it's okay to test agencies and like, see what approach they have as long as uh, they deliver you know they are good uh, if they know it's questionable you know why you know like okay because it was one guy who says so you can guarantee uh, so i can guarantee you money but you can't guarantee me result <laughs> i was like <laughs> so yeah in seo is is like we, we we basically help to build the trust to rank you and just to attract visitors but it's like uh, you can't guarantee because we are third party you know mm-hmm. in google right. mm-hmm. google can guarantee to give you an ads but you right. you, you also uh, can have guarantee with um that your ads not gonna be clicked by some like i don't know in asian uh, uh, like a, a, a lot of people just like in india and malaysia and other they just click through you know your mm. ads so the budget you're actually using like uh, not good there it, it is also a big problem google fighting you know like it, I'm, right. not, I'm not i don't have any issues for, like with india or malaysia or whatever it's just like they they use like even companies to click so you don't get any result out of your mm-hmm. paper click wow. which is super it's, bad it's yeah. that grimy it's that grimy so people literally like, hey, I'm gonna pay you to just click through so that their ranking will fall. Is it? Is, it, is that no, the no, no, goal? No. It's not. It's not about ranking. It's about uh, paid ads more. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So you're you you brought up the international, you know, market. So let's say let's say I'm a small business, or let's say I'm I'm a startup corporation, and I want to uh, start you know, start uh, uh, a business in a different country, right? So let's say, um, let's say, I don't know, Ghana. Let's say Ghana, for example. Okay. So, and let's say the market really isn't established there yet, but it's, it's in the process of, of getting there, right? What would you recommend my company do um, to go ahead and get ahead of the game in a, in a market that really hasn't been established? Um. Uh, I'm pretty good in this, like all my team, because we we have client who ranks like in more than hundred countries. Mm, okay. And every country is separate website. You right. Know? <laughs> right. Right. So I, I would look uh, overall. Do people search there? How they search? What they search? Who are the competitors there? How much they spend on their like SEO right now? Because uh, we can define it pretty quick, clear. Mm-hmm. And then you just understand. Okay, I'll get. I don't know. Like, uh, like let's say. I, I don't know your business. It, it also depends. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. But like, let's say you get like ten thousand visitors per month out of SEO in one year. Okay, uh, I, I would just look more about like, uh, does it actually make sense? Will people pay enough uh, just to convert this traffic? If, if, if uh, first, what I would look to, because mm-hmm. sometimes we rank in some countries and there's no money. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Right, right. <laughs> and I mean, it's cool to be number one but like yeah <laughs> yeah 
Yeah, so I would look uh, at the search volume, uh, what we can get, what's the actual market, who are the competitors, maybe even talk to them. You know, sometimes mm. you can go and talk to them and just like try to understand the business like uh, overall. Mm -hmm. uh, this will, uh, if you have this opportunity uh, or, or if you outreach them, it will be like super good. Mm -hmm. Or uh, like uh, sometimes we do, we, we hire people who already did it uh, on these markets uh and just paid for uh consulting them you know like i don't know 100 bucks 500 bucks just for consulting just to just to know more about this uh, country mm -hmm. and uh, like what we don't know uh, and they can give you a lot of valuable information sometimes <laughs> is no even point to start and you just spent mm -hmm. let's say you spent 1k on research or 2k on research but you didn't waste <laughs> a lot of money that right you like and your time which is precious you know so yeah absolutely yeah you know i think that it's so much more that we can continue to uh dive into and give our audience but they will just have to wait until we roll out a cannabis seo master class all Sir. right so we're gonna sit down with victor one more time so y'all make sure y'all on the lookout for that so that we can really break down some of these things that hey we are interested in knowing too <laughs> you know <laughs> so we're just like you right we, we, we just want to know what we can do to get our business to the success that it deserves to be right like we always say see to success is our motto yes, right sir. uh and, that, and we're trying to get our business up to that level so that we can live live it out you know we we we've worked for a long time and you know for startups they're working for so long unpaid, right? <laughs> so yeah. much time that you do you, you devote to uh, just trying to get the first dollar, the mm -hmm. first hundred, the first thousand, the first 10,000, right? That, uh, you know, you're still trying to make up for that and make it seem like your time was actually worth it. But yeah. uh, now we, we understand there's a way to go about getting that, making sure that you rank and doing it the correct way, you know? And and there's a lot of acronyms that was used during this episode right. that I'm not gonna lie, I didn't even understand. I shook, <laughs> I shook my head like I knew, but I didn't know. <laughs> and, and I'm sure there's hundreds or thousands of you that feel the same. Uh, if you have questions, SEO questions specifically, please make sure, just drop them in the comments and we'll mm -hmm. make sure whatever we have the master class I don't know. Yeah. There may be a third one where we do like a question and answer. I don't know. We'll see. It, it all is based off your participation. Go I, ahead, actually, I, I actually promise to answer every uh, comment they drop under the video. Boom. There we go. Right there. There you go. We're going to make sure that's in the description so you guys understand. Once again, Victor will be answering every question that you have. So load them up. Right, Canabras audience, all the, all the Z people, everybody, make sure you put them in the comment section below so you can go ahead and get the answers that you've been dying to uh, get to. We greatly appreciate you putting us on game, putting our audience on game, and uh, as the Canabras, man, we got to give you the certified stamp of approval, man. Wow. Yeah, Canabra stamp of approval for sure, man. You are a lifesaver for a lot of different businesses. Yep. And till next time, man. We the Canabras as Victor. Thank you and so we much. We out. Yeah. Oh. Peace.